About 12 years ago, I was a freshman in high school, and Mr. Warmack taught world history. When there were moments of downtime, we'd always gather around his computer to watch YouTube. I remember one day he had a news article on his computer, instead, that had a headline about the economy officially being in a recession for one whole year. For those of you who have been laid off this week, or are unsure about the future of your job security, this video is entirely made for you. Before I graduated college, I had made a promise to myself to get a job that would allow me to work from home and when I had to travel all around the world. Two years later, I've done just that and continue every day to live up to what I promised myself all those years ago with a few adjusted details. In this video, I'm going to show you three main skills that I think are imperative if you want to become a remote worker. So the point of this video is to help anyone no matter where they are in life to transition them into finding part or full-time remote work. These three general pieces of advice are my fundamental steps to achieving and maintaining remote work. So the first step is defining your remote skill. You gotta make sure it's a job that can be done remotely. This should be obvious. If you can do it from your computer, you can do it anywhere. Next, you gotta discover what the attributes of being a professional in that skill looks like. This way, you can create a roadmap of certain skills you are supposed to learn in order to reach the next tier within your remote career. As you progress through the ranks, you should be getting closer and closer to adding some projects into your portfolio. Not many people are advocates of this, but whenever I learn a new skill I am trying to monetize, I offer to do my first few projects for free. When you're in this process, make sure that the time and effort you're giving away for free is actually worth the opportunity cost. And the only way to assure that is under-promising and over-delivering. Do your best. The safety is that expectations are low or non-existent. Take advantage of the comfort and bring forth your best. So what are these high level remote skills that can earn you a decent income? Here are some notable careers to transition into no matter where you are in life. UI UX design, software engineering, web development, app development, video editing, copywriting, social media management, digital marketing. Now for your second step, you must learn a task management program stack. Most companies that hire remote workers usually work remotely themselves, and organizing marketing campaigns, business strategy, and product development doesn't come easily without the help of a task management software. A task management software helps you delegate or manage tasks within an organization. Some softwares let you run a whole virtual office. That means being able to see current, ongoing, and future tasks while being able to set deadlines for these projects. Here are my favorite task management tools I use every day. Slack. Slack is an online messaging work platform to collaborate on projects. The mission statement is to replace email with chat rooms organized by relevance and topics. I mainly use Slack to ask quick questions that need to be answered within five minutes or less by my coworkers or team members. Asana. Asana is an online work platform that is task-oriented with deadlines. The free version is very extensive in features. If you started a company and needed everyone to work remotely, Asana is the virtual office you will need. Last on this list is WhatsApp. For international communication or travel, this messenger app does it all. It also is a convenient way to transfer photos and videos directly from your laptop to your cell phone. It's a relatively simple messaging app owned by Facebook, but I find it very convenient to use when I need to maintain communication with my international freelancers and contractors. Now the third step may seem like common sense, but it's actually something that many people don't think about often, and it's becoming interdepartmental. Basically, learning how to work in and out of agencies gives you an edge over other freelancers because you are a great communicator, a people person. So if you're a remote freelancer or worker, your point of contact from these agencies are usually going to be very busy. One thing everyone from an agency can appreciate is an external force making their life easier. But having multiple skills, being able to translate jargon between multiple departments, and having amazing communication skills all contribute to this last piece of advice. Make yourself known to that agency, so whenever the next project arises, your name pops up first out of everyone else on the contact sheet. I have lived by these three principles since college and has given me the ability to travel the world, meet some cool people, and live the life I've always wanted. At the end of the day, all you have is your reputation when you're a remote worker. And your reputation should consist of these details about yourself. A. You are a highly skilled talent that is hard to find and easy to work with. B. You use the correct tools to communicate and deliver your work. 
and C, you are interdepartmental enough to showcase your confidence when it comes to finishing contracted work. And who knows, maybe when your portfolio is big enough, you'll be able to land a full-time remote job anywhere in the world. It can happen. Trust me. Oh, 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 oh,